Tech Hawaii covers stories that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm Keisha King. Every December, Think Tech has a holiday party and awards ceremony for its hosts, guests, directors, underwriters, and friends. This year, we had a huge crowd with keynote remarks by Claire Connors, the state's attorney general, and the presentation of a number of Think Tech awards. Now, going into our 20th year, it's important that we thank our Think Tech family with a party like this and that we present community service and think tech awards to deserving individuals and organizations. Then we had our program. First, Kumu Bradlum with an Oli, then Jay Fidel with welcoming remarks, followed by Claire Connors, the Attorney General of the state. Former Governor John Wahee then helped us present our various think tech awards. <laughs> Since we last met last year, ThinkTech has continued to deliver important, diverse, unique, and global content to our community. OC16 and Olella programs have been acknowledged by an SBA Media in Journalism Award this year. We have enhanced our equipment and production quality with our experienced staff and enthusiastic hosts, many of whom are here tonight. And this fall, we presented a media symposium in collaboration with Accord 3.0 and Hawaii Business Magazine. Beginning next year, we're transforming to ThinkTech 3.0. 1.0 was radio. 2.0 was our green screen studio at Pioneer Plaza. 3.0 will be located at a new, more compact studio at the Finance Factors Center building with a cable news type television background technology for hosts and more remote connections with guests here and everywhere in the world. Now on to our program. First, we'll have opening remarks from Claire Connors, the Attorney General of the State of Hawaii. So I'm gonna talk about uh, one uh, particular issue each month that, that we've faced in the department and that might have resonance with all the uh, gatherers here today and I'll try to do it. I'm not gonna sing, but I think by the end of it you might feel that same frenetic energy that I always feel at the end of 12 Days of Christmas where you think, there's a lot going on in that song. There's a lot going on with our department. How are we going to utilize the wonderful resources that we have with the department and the kind of capacity that we can bring to the, to the state government to make sure things are thoughtful and deliberate and lawful um, is exactly what gets me up every morning and what makes me very proud to stand behind the 800 employees of the department and to work alongside them. We're not gonna hit it out of the park every time, but we're in the game and we're in it for you and we're a team worth rooting for. So thank you. Claire, with all that training and experience, all those issues and events in your first year as Attorney General of the State of Hawaii, has it ever occurred to you to put in for a quieter job, the Attorney General of the United States? Okay, we are presenting three community service awards and three Think Tech Hawaii awards to those we have identified as providing extraordinary contributions to our community. Here to help us present these awards is our special guest and regular Think Tech host, Governor John Wahey. First Community Service Award is to Professor Chip Fletcher, that's Charles Fletcher. Okay. He's the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Professor of Earth Science in the School of Ocean and Earth Science at UH Manoa for his invaluable contributions to public understanding of climate change and sea level rise in Hawaii. This state is amazing. It's an amazing place to be a climate scientist because uh, it has not been hard to get everybody, government agencies, nonprofits, uh, schools, various institutions, and just individuals uh, to understand the science of climate change and to accept the scientists are here on your behalf and want to serve you and are here for your safety. Um, I want to thank Think, think Tech and the Board of Directors. This is an amazing opportunity. I want to thank my family, uh, my wife Ruth, who is head of school of St. Andrew's Priory. Uh, my daughter Kellen, who is a psychology teacher at uh, Punahou Academy. She teaches AP Psych. And my other daughter, Katie, who is the outdoor manager at Four Seasons up in Ko'olina. So if you ever go up there. 
As for Katie Fletcher, uh, the government agencies in Hawaii have been so cooperative. They're so interested in learning. They want to know. And I'm invited all the time to give talks to groups of various types, offices, agencies, and they are now wanting to know how do we incorporate climate science into our policies and into making uh, this, safe, uh, this state a uh, safe and resilient location. Um, it's amazing. I went on a week-long sea level rise learning tour with a dozen agency heads from the city and county and also the state to Miami Beach, to Charleston, and to Boston, where they are struggling with sea level rise real time. We met with agency heads there. We exchanged ideas. It was an incredible uh, opportunity to ferment ideas to bring here to Hawaii um, as we face the threat of sea level rise. And I want to thank my home institution, the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology uh, at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, what a great place to be a professional scientist, also to be an educator, and to be a servant to you folks here in, in the state of Hawaii. So thank you very much. Our next community service award is to Robert Pennybacker of PBS. Uh, Robert Pennybacker is Director of Learning Initiatives at PBS Hawaii for his work as Director of Learning Initiatives at PBS Hawaii. Thank you to um, Think Tech Hawaii for this, this honor. Quite a surprise, and I'm, I'm very honored. Uh, I want to thank my, my wife, Lorraine Akiba, who has been supporting me throughout all my adventures. Um, I uh, want to recognize my boss, um, Leslie Wilcox, CEO of PBS Hawaii. Yeah. Um, uh, for whom she denies it, but w without her, there would be no Hikino. A uh, really ground groundbreaking concept that uh, everyone thought we were crazy to take on, and uh, and lo and behold, uh, eight years later, um, it's it's a fantastic program. And uh, I just wanted to share with you um, my experiences working with uh, these young people, uh, the so-called Generation Z. They're the students that are in middle and high school right now. Um, I'm I'm really convinced, and I'm not I'm not kidding you that um, I think they're going to save us. And that's really, um, really gratifying to know just by what I've witnessed in working with them. Uh, and there's been research on this as well. They've been uh, compared to the, the greatest generation, the World War II generation, uh, and I really believe it. And, and they know that they've got um, a lot on their hands when they, when they graduate from college. But um, they're, they're tech savvy, they're problem solvers, they're really smart. Um, but uh, beyond that, more importantly, uh, we've learned, um, working with them as journalists, that they don't prejudge people, which is really, really um, spectacular. And um, they have a characteristic that uh, is really is what is going to save us, and, uh, and that's empathy. Uh, they really have empathy for, for the world and for, for all of us. So what I'd like to advise all of us is that we support them. We give them opportunities and then get out of their way. You should watch uh, PBS and you should watch uh, Hickey No. That is when you're not watching Think Tech. <laughs> and when you watch Hickey No, you should think of Robert Pennybacker because he's the guy that makes it happen. Did I do that right, Leslie? All right. <laughs> Our final community service award is to Chief Justice Mark Rechtenwald Chief Justice of the Hawaii State Supreme Court for his outstanding contribution to the people of Hawaii in providing access to legal services and justice through a distinguished legal career. It was a great honor uh, to be recognized tonight because of the high regard in which I hold Think Tech. I mean, I've told Jay this many times, the discussion, the conversation, uh, that Think Tech fosters in our community, I think, is vital uh, to the future of our community, to its vitality, and frankly, to the future of, of our democracy. And that's something we think about a lot at the judiciary. You know, we don't have the power of the purse uh, like the legislature does. We don't have state employees and sheriffs or marshals or police who we can order like the executive branch does. We frankly have the power of ideas behind us. and. The understanding of the separation of powers, what the rule of law means, uh, and the role of the courts in our democracy is really 
uh, the power that we have. And the only way that that works is if citizens understand uh, what we do and why those things matter. And one re way we've done that that I think is very consistent with what Think Tech Hawaii stands for uh, is bringing our court, the Supreme Court, out into the community to hold oral arguments around the state in high schools. Uh, we were just out at Waipahu High School uh, a couple weeks ago. We had almost 500 high school students from the leeward side. Uh, we've reached uh, more than 5,000 students since we started uh, doing this back in 2012. The response from the students is amazing because they can actually see what a court is, how it works, and they'll say things like, I never realized that the court would ask such tough questions of both sides. And to me, that's basically the definition of the rule of law. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter whether you have the power of the state of Hawaii or you're a criminal defendant, you're going to get the same even-handed treatment and fair shake when you come before court in this state. So I want to thank all of the lawyers who go out and volunteer their times in the schools, Hawaii State Bar Association, Richardson School of Law, and others who've helped make that program possible. I have three folks from my office here, Kathy Bruce, Grace Canoza, and Kurt Shabato over here, and I'd like to acknowledge them for all they've done to make that program possible. And again, I want to thank Think Tech for everything it does for this community. Wouldn't he be fabulous on the United States Supreme Court? <laughs>we also gave awards to three of our think tech family host of the year went to yukari kunisui host of konnichiwa hawaii show of the year went to condo insider hosted by jane sugimura and richard emery and underwriter of the year went to hawaiian electric led by ceo alan oshima now on to our three think tech hawaii awards our first award is our think tech host of the year award it goes to Yukari Kunisui, host of Konichiwa Hawaii, for her dedication, sensitivity, and open creativity as a citizen journalist on Think Tech Hawaii in founding, developing, and producing the unique and enriching Konichiwa Hawaii bilingual talk show. I'm Yukari, and to be really honest with you, I have no idea why I got this award. And it done on me. Ah, none of the board members understand the show. It's all in Japanese. Really. But I wanted to thank, uh, as you know, your host, some of you. The success of the show is always depend on guests. And I have always wonderful guests. And I have honor to have three guests here today. So I'd like to introduce Mayumi Abis, would you like to stand up? Okay. She's a survivor of colon cancer. She beat the cancer. 
and globally famous Yoshi Shiraishi. She, he's an uh, architect and he's a designer and famous in New York. And my most recent kimono and cosmetologist guest, Naoko Sakabue. As you can see, a beautiful kimono she's introducing. We know why she got the award. <laughs> uh, we thought about it a lot, and she totally, totally deserves it. Our Think Tech Show of the Year award goes to Kondo Insider, hosted by Jane Sugimura, Yuriko Jane Sugimura, and Richard Emery for its contributions to raising public awareness about the management and operation of condominium projects in our state. Jane and Richard and Cheryl and, and uh, Krista have hosted 130 episodes and have made this show useful, authoritative, and popular in the condominium community. We had a whole lot of guests from the community participate uh, in our discussion. And I especially want to thank Senator Roz Baker, who challenged us um, uh, maybe two years ago. She challenged Richard and I, who do a lot of advocating for condominiums uh, in the legislature. She says, you got to find a way to stop your, these condo people from calling us, the legislators, and complaining about the boards of directors. And so you guys got to do something so that this stops. And so she says, it's got to be something that is free and it's got to be something where people don't have to take off work to go to a seminar and so i was talking to jay my uh my longtime law partner and he said why don't you come on our show and, and come to think tech and we'll put you on youtube there's really no one in the state of hawaii has made the kind of contributions to the development of the condominium model uh and the as she says, the, the caring for our neighbors in condominium living as Jane Sugimura. Our Think Tech Underwriter of the Year award goes to Hawaiian Electric Company, led by CEO Alan Oshima. Jim Kelly, Communications Director of Hawaiian Electric Company is here and will accept the award. By making financial underwriter contributions to Think Tech, along with so many other Hawaii community organizations, and by providing a variety of talk show guests on stories related to the development of clean energy and sustainability in Hawaii without any expectation of affecting our coverage. We recognize and thank Hawaiian Electric Company for its faithful and continuing support of ThinkTech's efforts to serve this community. On behalf of uh, Alan Oshima and uh, Hawaiian Electric, thank you so much for this recognition. You know, I. We should be doing something for you. Who, who else would give us a platform to talk about integrated grid planning, you know? He, he calls up and he says, hey, Jim, can you get somebody down here to talk about distributed resource management systems? It, it's really like a, a blank check, so I appreciate that very much, Jay, and we appreciate the role that uh, ThinkTech plays because uh, as any regular viewer of Think Tech knows, or anybody who pays attention to the news, we're on a pretty ambitious mission to replace all of our fossil fuels with renewable resources by uh, 2045. We're going to probably get that done a lot sooner. But, yep. But this isn't just something for Hawaiian Electric to do. This involves everybody in this room and everybody in this state. And I think uh, one of the most important um, platforms that we have for uh, explaining how this all works and trying to get people involved and excited is, uh, is ThinkTech uh, and, and uh, in this kind of fragmented media landscape it's nice to know that that someone really does care about integrated grid planning and uh, we'll let you talk about it for an hour so thank you very much I appreciate it and appreciate everything that you do Jay and uh, thanks for everything you do with ThinkTech. A round of applause for all of our awardees. We want to thank our directors, underwriters, hosts, guests, staff, and friends. It takes a lot of people. We also had a chance to walk around the floor, as we customarily do.
excellent. It was wonderful. Everybody is so up and bubbly. Just the information that you're sharing with all of us is wonderful. You guys have done many, many episodes and helping the community with a diverse, diverse, diverse subject. Yukari introduced me and the, yeah. This is a different world for me. You opened a new door for me. I really appreciate it. Oh, yes, you do. This next generation of kids is really going to save us. And, I, and so if I could play a little part in just helping them learn the tools, they're going to take them and run with them. Food is good. <laughs> the awards were great. We reach a lot more people through the Condo Insider Think Tech uh, YouTube show. One of the few basins of uh, free speech in uh, Hawaii and America. It was just absolutely amazing and I'm so glad that I was a part of it. I think you're doing a great service for the state of Hawaii. For what you do is to provide for the, the community because that's something that was really important when I was drawn to Think Tech Hawaii was that you're giving people a voice. And I've known it's been a, a multicultural island but this is the most diverse uh, group I've been in and to feel the energy, the diverse support, the diverse experience of sharing each other's lives through think tech just thrills me i realize i will not be on this planet forever and i have so gosh darn much good stuff in my head that i gosh darn well better pass it on to the young generation so that they can absorb it and go far 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 beyond did you have a good time tonight peter you did a great job this is always fun you know and i, I know being in the studio and chit-chatting with you every once in a while is a pleasure and a half. Yeah, I'm just calming down now, but thank you for that magnificent performance up front. I enjoyed it a lot. I was really into that distributed grid um, show, and I was not kidding, I actually watched that show. <laughs> My head is in the enjoyment of this particular group of people who are so friendly and have been sharing all about their work with Teach Think Tech Hawaii and uh, pump, pumping me up about hey, do something, or, you know? This is Haley Ikeda and her dad, Gary. I never knew all that stuff about your guests, you know, the, you know, the Supreme Court Justice and, and um, oh, the Attorney General. Really nice to see everyone here together and the host, because usually there's only one host on, at the studio during a certain hour, but now they're here talking with each other. We love our ThinkTech family, and we love throwing our annual holiday party for them and see them get together and enjoy their common bond with ThinkTech.
Think Tech streams its daily talk shows live on the internet from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. most weekdays. Then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long and on the weekends. If you missed a show or if you want to replay or share our shows, they're all archived on demand on thinktechhawaii.com and YouTube. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for our weekly calendar and YouTube links. Or better yet, sign up on our email list and get our daily email advisories. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube or send us a tweet at thinktechhi. We like to know how you feel about the issues and events that affect our lives in these islands and in this country. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of Think Tech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. That wraps up this week's edition of Think Tech on OC16. For lots more Think Tech talk and feature shows, and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on Think Tech, visit thinktechhawaii.com. Thanks so much for being part of our Think Tech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy, diversification, global awareness, and the ongoing search for innovation wherever we can find it. I'm Keisha King. And I'm Jay Fidel. Aloha, everyone. Mm -hmm.